I think preaching the choir is a big problem for the Bernie Sanders camp. The attitude on social media is pretty much as positive as can be. Even on traditional networks like CNN, MSNBC and even Fox News. As long as you watch them on an internet platform, you will find the comments to be way more positive than negative towards Bernie. But he is not doing well with elderly age over 45 and these people are not using social media actively. So it doesn't matter how many times I post it liked on Facebook, a YouTube video is clicked on or a tweet is going viral. The bubble is not bursting and it also can't be much more expanded. The absolute dumbest thing Bernie's campaign can do right now is to put any focus on trying to raise the young voting turnout. Why? Because talking about a revolution and changing the fundamental system, things that make those young folks excited, is really risky with the elderly. And you don't want to take any risk with the elderly because they vote to a much higher degree than the young. If I were to give Bernie one tip right now, it would be to encourage his millennial base to talk with the people around them they already know. Having some personal interactions where the goal is to find the core disagreement and then in a polite specific manner counter it. Maybe end with a video of Biden stumbling across a sentence or two. And if talking politics is seen as taboo in your family, well, then we arrive to the second part of my plan. March 15th. Phoenix, Arizona, the 11th Democratic debate, Joe Biden versus Bernie Sanders. Biden is gonna have to keep his dementia brain working for two hours against a pretty strong opponent. And every minute of that is gonna be a struggle. Who's gonna win that debate is not a question. What is a question, however, is how many boomers and middle-aged people that's gonna watch it which will also be vital to not be fooled by the establishment's covering of the debate. So, tell grandma to see it. Invite your parents to watch it with you and maybe give them some side information as it's unfolding. Thanks to this debate, you don't have to be aggressive. You just have to say that you think it's important to make an informed decision and that it would be a nice little favor you would appreciate.